My name's Hime X Hime, and welcome to my island tour. This is Peach Hime, and I just wanted to make a little video on my island. I'm super proud of what I've done, and let's just get started. So right over here from the airport entrance, it leads you straight to the plaza. And before we go anywhere on my island, I wanted to show you a little bit behind my resident services area. I kind of created a little garden area where I have all my natural flowers here. I had the wind flower, that's my native flower. And then I have just a little seating area over here for like Isabel or Tom Nook if they ever wanted to come out and get some fresh air. And to get started on this tour, we'll go straight over here to the left side of my island. And this is the entrance to my Pichihime shopping center. There's a nice little fountain surrounded by bushes and flowers, a little snack cart, this sign right over here to tell you that there's a lot of stores here in the shopping center. And something that I thought that was just a really cool thing was this little train set. I think it's super cute. And when we go right up here, the first shop you'll see is the Able Sisters shop. And this is kind of their little outdoor work area. You can see that they're working on some elaborate designs. They have like a small little stall here with some accessories. And then as we keep going into the shopping center, you'll see the nook cranny right over here. And I really like how it turned out. It just looks super cute. And then in between the Nook Cranny and the Able Sisters shop is this little public vending machine area if people wanna get a snack or a drink, take a little seat over here. And something I'm super proud of doing is this entire uh, parking lot where I designed all the little parking logos and I just think it was a super cute idea to kind of add for this shopping center and it really ties everything together. So uh, from the nook cranny, if we go towards here, we have a little public bathroom area and then we also have my DIY crafting station. So if any visitors wanna come get some DIYs, they can do that here or if they wanna make something, they can do that right there. And then I have a small little, uh, I guess like a public performance area. And then going all the way back to the, I wanna say like to the front of the shopping center, we have three different cuisines here where the first one is pretty much the Hime's Diner. So this is where you can get American cuisine. And if you like American, you can have a little lunch right over here. And then if you also wanted to do something where you get like a nice oceanfront view, you get to go over here. This is like the Seaside Cafe. It's an extension of the Hime's Diner. So it's a nice little beach area with some music to listen to. You get a little coffee or tea and then pretty much sit anywhere you'd like. And if you don't wanna have something like that, you have the option over here to go to the Peachy Walk, and this is our Asian cuisine. So pretty much you can take a seat anywhere you like. I know um, I've been missing dim sum since this quarantine had started, so that's something I really wanna eat and I'm looking forward to, but that's pretty much the dining area and the shopping center. You have three different cuisines you can try, and yeah. So we'll make our way back towards the other side of our shopping center. And pretty much from here, we have our little sweet shop. And so if you're not interested in like American food or Asian food, you want like a little sweet snack, you can come over here for some ice cream, some shaved ice. And I just thought it would be really cute to make everything pink and colorful. It just seemed to tie it all together. And from there, we'll go more up. And this little area right over here is just kind of like a little, I guess, mini game, uh, like a lottery kind of thing. I thought it'd be super fun to think that if uh, you were visiting, you can like win a prize or anything like that. Get some cotton candy. That'd be fun. And over here is a small little phone booth. And then I have a sign over here to show you where my museum is. So we're gonna cross the bridge to come over. And pretty much uh, my idea for the museum was that I really wanted to put some outside exhibits to kind of showcase what 
I guess what would be inside the museum and this is the entrance right over here I thought the floor lights would be a really cute display and it looks a little different at night So I'll show you guys what that looks like I really thought it would really enhance your like museum experience if you had all these hands-on exhibits outside and you have this little I guess like a little space themed exhibit right over here But yeah this is my museum. And then over here in the museum is a little public snacking area as well. And then we'll come back down over here. And so... I thought it'd be really cool too to also have a little outdoor library studying area and this is my the first floor of that and again another train set because it looks super cute and I think train sets would fit into the library but this is a little studying area and then this on the second floor you pretty much have all the books magazines and I thought it'd be super unique to have like a little kids section so this spot over here is a little more colorful, has toys as well. And yeah, this is a little outdoor library and this is also a nice little seating area with a waterfall view as well. And I put these little lanterns here to kind of illuminate this walkway at night. So I'll show you guys what that looks like too. And we'll make our way down this way. And from here, this is my, I wanna say my community area. This is where all my residents live. And I had named it the Hime Estates. And pretty much this is what it looks like. Uh, so this is my map, that's where I live. And then these are all my villagers and they're all kind of grouped together in a nice format. And I'll give you guys a little tour of it. Uh, with the Hime Estates, you get lots of amenities, like a little parking lot for your car, scooter, or a bike. We also have some designated garbage areas. And then these are pretty much where the houses are. I decorated all the yards with the villagers' personality and their uh, kind of, you know, just what they like. Yeah. And I thought it was really cool to kind of keep them all together in this sort of community grid format where they're all like neighbors with each other and sometimes I catch them like in each other's houses and another amenity is like these storage units I thought that was really cool to kind of have and also as well as another amenity is an outdoor uh, laundry area and then we also have a pool area for the residents as well. And this is pretty much the Hime Estates. Coming out of the Hime Estates, we're on the right side of my island right now. And we're back to where the resident services area is. Over here is the Pichihime Park. I really like giving all of my areas some space so that people can move in it. And you can see that this is like a regular park where we have a little jungle gym, sandbox some little springy toys, a little basketball court over here as well. And so before we go over there, we're gonna come down here and this is where I have my three beach areas. So over here is a little beach club, I wanna say. This is where, you know, it gets really popping <laughs> on a Saturday night or Something like that. This is where my residents would go if they wanted to have like a nice little uh, coconut juice or listen to some music. And then over here would be the VIP section. And then across the beach club, this is the Pichihime Gym. And pretty much we have, you know, a full bathroom. We also have a little relaxing area over here. 
that you can use after you work out, but it's a standard gym, I wanna say, where you have, you know, your yoga balls, your weightlifting equipment, cardio. You can work out with the punching bag, or if you are into boxing, you can do that. And there's a little section here where you can drop off all your things in the lockers, some protein powder. And then we'll make our way down this way to the entrance of the Peach Beach. And over here pretty much is a little beach area. I included some tables for like a barbecue section, lots of chairs and blankets for my villagers to kind of relax on. This is the little pier area with some surfboards and a lifeguard in case anything happens. But yeah, I really liked how I have the kind of like all the small details pulling every area together. And over here at the end, you have a little Cosmo shower to just wash off before you leave the beach, anything like that. So then leaving the beach area, we're gonna enter the flower garden and I wanted to keep it kind of simple with a nice white classic look of the fountain and the benches. And I really like having the hyacinth lamps as well. Um, something I really liked as a design was kind of putting bushes and all the white flowers that I have on the edges of the garden and all the colorful flowers would be on the inside. So that's something I really liked. And I also really enjoyed putting the butterfly models from Flick in here as well. So I felt like that really pulled it all together. And yeah, that's my flower garden. So we'll go up here and we'll pass by um, on, the, on a little walkway, but this is my camping site. So if I have any visitors, they would be right over here. And I gave it a little bit of a nature-y feel as well, since I left some trees here and I have a little barbecue area as well. Um, and right over here, there's a little entrance to the beach where, you know, you can head up a little bit and there's some lounging chairs that you can use and relax on. And pretty much this is the camping site. I think it has, it's full of things that you would see at a regular camping site. And then we'll continue our way around. And this is pretty much a little walkway that encases my Hime Estates, all my villagers. They can walk around here to kind of get a nice view of the waterfalls and some flowers. And right over here is my house. So I gave my house a little Japanese outdoor with the bamboo garden and I decorated it with some custom pathing of the rocks and I put my lily of the valleys all around to kind of create like a little garden area. But this is my house. And then up here, I gave myself like a second floor deck where I have all my money trees, my fruit trees, and then a little outdoorsy area. If I had some of my friends come over, we can like chill and relax here by the fireplace. And this is pretty much the start of like my orchid. And over here, I have my entrance to the secret beach. So if I have red visiting or anything like that, it would be easy access. And if I have any other visitors that want to come see him, they can find him really easily. And towards the end of this orchard is pretty much a little naturey area where I made it kind of feel a little wild. And um, since I'm the representative for the island, I decided to kind of have responsibility with all the energy for the island. So I created a way where I can check on these wind turbines, make sure they're still working and nothing's happening to them. So my island has energy, but yeah, that's pretty much my entire island. I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed um, playing Animal Crossing and creating these different areas. And I thought that some of my areas were unique to where I had like a community area for my villagers and I gave my areas, you know, space to breathe and things like that. And so I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can give this video a thumbs up and hopefully I can see you next time.